What brings Rogue here today? Um, we've just gotten her from the pound recently. Yes. And her right eye is, I don't know, it looks damaged. Yeah, that doesn't look right at all. Wow. So it was like that when you got her? Well, it was damaged, but it was like blue, and now it's gone red, so I'm just okay. like, what's going on? There are lots of different things that could be causing Rogue's eye problem. I need to run some tests to try and work out exactly what it is. So I'm just gonna check the pressures in her eye. Mm-hmm. Good girl, good girl. All right, so that pressure's normal. She hasn't got a buildup of, um, fluid behind the eye, which mm -hmm. is glaucoma, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But it still is very, very unusual in such a young mm. dog to have an eye like this. So I'm just <laughs> going to examine the rest of her head too. Yep. Have you noticed this lump on no. her cheek? Where's that? It's just here, under that eye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Now, it concerns me a little bit that mm -hmm. it might be related to the eye. And, okay. And when any animal gets a lump, we need to make sure that it's not cancerous. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is I'll get our ophthalmologist to come and have a look mm -hmm. at the eye, give me her opinion. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Anything like the C word's always scary. So I'm a little bit worried about what that's going to turn up and that's just a little scary. Ophthalmologist Dr Alison Groth will be able to confirm if Rogue's eye can be saved. Gosh, that's a very unhappy looking eye. So I'm just looking now at whether her pupils respond to light. They should become smaller when I shine a light in them, but she doesn't seem to have any vision at all in that right eye. It's likely that that eye will cause problems for her in the future and that the best thing we can do for Roe is actually to remove that eye. Okay, so leaving it there is not going to work. I'm concerned that it will become painful for her in the okay. future. Yeah. Now we'll also look at taking that lump out yeah. as well because we are really wanting to make sure that it's not cancerous yeah. and that the eye isn't cancerous either. All right. Well, I guess it's got to come out. It's a heartbreaking prognosis, but Sonia knows surgery will give Rogue the best chance at a happy future. I was really hoping that we'd be able to keep the eye, but to save her any further pain, it has to come out. You be a good girl for Annie Lisa, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Rogue is such a beautiful puppy, and I really, really hope that we can get this eye problem sorted so that she can go to a brand new home. But if she's got cancer, well, that's going to make things very difficult. The delicate operation will be performed by ophthalmologist Dr Alison Groth. I guess what's complicating this case is the presence of this mass. Biggest concern is that it might be cancer, and if it is, whether the mass and the eye are related. OK. Getting rid of a source of pain is often a lot more important to a pet than the cosmetic implication of not having an eye anymore. Alison is hoping that removing the eye will make the eight-month-old's life a lot more comfortable. The eye is really not serving her any purpose whatsoever. All it's doing is acting as a potential source of problems. She doesn't respond to light at all, so she won't miss it in the slightest. Okay. 20 minutes later, and stage one of the operation is complete. So that's the eye out, and now we'll stitch up. All right, now let's move on to this mass. I think that the lump's probably more of a concern to us. It might be cancer, and if it is, then uh, there could be more serious issues. sample will be sent to the lab for testing. The pathology results should be back within a few days. It will be a nervous wait until then. All right, that's it, done. And I'm really happy with how it went. She's been a very good patient.
At SASH, it's been 24 hours since Rogue underwent surgery to remove her eye and the dangerous lump growing underneath it. Rogue's recovered well from the surgery. She's looking fantastic. She's wagging her tail and she's definitely ready to go home. Should we go see Sonia? Hey, should we go? Foster mum Sonia is eagerly waiting for the brave rescue dog. I've got four other dogs at home. Um, they were all looking for her when I got home, so they were all a little bit um, down last night, and so was I. I was just hoping that she came through the surgery really well and, um, you know, she wasn't missing us. Hey, where's Sonia? Where's Sonia? In there. Hello. Hey, gorgeous. Oh, look at you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's so excited to see you. Oh. Yes. So where the eye was is quite mm -hmm. swollen now and also where the lump was taken out, so that will settle down over the next week. Her hair will grow back over the area and no one will even notice. OK. OK. And you're still just gorgeous anyway, she aren't you, darling? Just, just as happy as she was before, <laughs> so... I'm hoping for Rogue now that obviously she heals up really well, she doesn't have any pain, any complications, and she'll find a really wonderful home. We'll miss you, sweetie pie. You've been a delight to look after. Rogue is so happy to be going home with Sonia. She's wagging her tail. Now we need to just wait for the pathology results, and I'm really, really hoping that it doesn't come back as cancer. Come on, let's go. Gonna meet your new family. Yeah? Come on. It's been four weeks since Rogue's operation, and foster carer Sonia has now found the brave wolfhound a brand new home. Rogue's come along today to meet Amy, Ruth, and little Theo. They're a lovely family. So fingers crossed, this is the home for her. Say hello. hello. Thank you, too. I'm Rogue. <laughs> hello, Rogue. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look. Hey, Theo, look. So look. Do you Plenty think their go. tummy rubs are good enough? Oh, good girl. Yeah. You like them, darling? Mm. Hey. Uh -uh. Oh, it's Rogue's beautiful. The minute I seen her, I just sort of fell in love. And um, yeah, she's definitely special. Theo. Oh, look. Oh, oh. And there's even more good news. Rogue's lump came back non-cancerous, so that was very relieving. So everything's all good. Go. The fact that uh, Rogue's only got one eye doesn't seem to bother her at all. She's just getting around normally and will lead a happy life. Come on, come on, Rogie. Good girl, good girl. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.